Hey, it's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. Thanks for joining this short WordPress installation tutorial. Now, for all of you who want to use WordPress, I've created a number of different articles comparing it WordPress against uh, some of the other drag and drop website builders such as Squarespace, Weebly, um, Wix, and so on. But for those who want to use WordPress for a ver variety of different reasons, I go over the pros and cons in those articles. Mainly in that WordPress, you get a lot more flexibility if you need that because um, you can do a lot of advanced customizations if you want to, but it does have a much steeper learning curve and um, may require you to dabble in the codes a little bit. So, all, so for those of you who do have the extra time to learn how to use WordPress and, and perhaps some financial resources to hire some experts to help you, uh, WordPress is a fantastic way to build out a website, especially if you are more concerned about the blogging platform. Now, WordPress is much, much beyond just blogging platform, but for some of you out there who just want to have a blog, WordPress is a fantastic way going forward. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an account with Bluehost and how to get an installation going so you can be on your way in just a, a few minutes. Now I choose Bluehost because they have a very good, uh, strong reputation in the hosting environment. And one thing you should note is that if you want to use WordPress, uh, you will have to get your own hosting and, and there's a monthly fee of about $7 a month. Um, so if you use other drag and drop builders such as Weebly, Wix, or Squarespace, etc., um, they are a hosted website builder so you don't have to worry about hosting at all. But if you do choose to use WordPress.org, you will have to get your own hosting. This is a video I'm going to show you how to set that up. We choose Bluehost because they have a great reputation and in my experience, they're very, very good in their support. Now you can call them, you can get on live chat, you can email them. Uh, there are multiple different ways to reach them 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. So you can reach Bluehost by clicking the orange uh, button directly below this video, which is going to bring you to this page here. Now they're always running special offers. They're going to give you incentivize you to sign up because they're going to give you a lower initial rate. So at the time of this video, uh, it's the Christmas season, so now they're running a promotion here. But just note that after the promotion expires, you will have to pay the regular rate. You can see the start here and the bottom it says that this promotion price only for first term use only renews at regular rate. So just be aware of that. Now the next question is what if you have your own domain name? Now you can use your own domain name such as if you had it registered with GoDaddy which is uh, which 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 I do uh, or you can register a domain name directly through Bluehost itself. And what we'll show you that process briefly uh, as we move along here as we sign up. Now just know that there's there's a hotline here where you can call Bluehost anytime you want or you can click on live chat and you can instantly get connected to a service representative and you can ask them questions. In my experience, they've been very responsive and very knowledgeable and that's why uh, I, I do like Bluehost. Oh, another note is that they do have money back guarantee. See here, there's an anytime money back guarantee. So if you want to play around with it, try it out. If you don't like their service or for whatever reason you decide not to use WordPress because it's a little bit uh, more complicated than you want it, you can always get your money back and you can talk to any one of the service representative and they can process the refund right away. The first thing you would do is click on sign up now. And you can either get a new domain name or if you already have a domain name, you can insert it here. What happens next is that you will have to verify the domain name. So to prove that you actually own the domain name because domain, name, domain names are registered with different registers. Now you can either get it through Bluehost, which will know you're the proper owner by using this box here. Or if you have something registered with, let's say, GoDaddy, you have to insert a domain name here and then you have to verify that way. And they will have further instructions on how to do that. Uh, and I'm not going to go through that in this video because we'll actually have to go through the entire verification process. But they do have a very strong support team to help you if you need that. And usually by verifying the domain name, it just means that you have to go to your register and point the domain name to Bluehost. And what I mean by pointing to domain name is that you have to insert what they call the DNS, Bluehost DNS, into your GoDaddy account. So it will direct the domain name to Bluehost and that's how they verify that you are indeed the owner. And at the same time, by pointing your domain name 
to Bluehost, when you type in your domain name in the URL bar over here, it will load up your web website within Bluehost. So once you select one of these options, it will bring you to a registration page where you have to insert your, your standard information, credit card information, just to get started with building an account. Now remember, there's a, there's a money back refund guarantee, so don't worry about that. Um, Bluehost is a very strong, reputable hosting service, so if you don't like them for whatever reason, you can always cancel. So what I'm gonna do now is actually log into my Bluehost account. So click on cPanel login. And I'm just going to show you exactly what it looks like within cPanel. cPanel is just short for control panel. So I'm just going to use my domain name that I register with here and the password. There you go. Once I'm in, I'm going to see this page right here. So if you have any more questions, you can always watch the get started videos right here and click into it. And there's a bunch of different videos in YouTube on how to use WordPress. There's seven videos here at the time of the filming, so you can go over exactly how to use WordPress properly, uh, in addition to watching the video that I'm showing you right now. So once you're in here, you can go to hosting. One thing about Bluehost again is, is that if you want to get their team to do things for you, you can always have that option or you can call them and have a consultation service with them. Okay, so I'm just going to close this window right here. And next thing you would do is click on WordPress. Okay, now if you can't find WordPress, just go control F and just search for WordPress. And there's a lot of different options here and we're not going to spend too much time going into that. I, don't, I personally don't even use most of these, okay? So I'm going to click on WordPress here and it's going to bring me into the setting up of the first WordPress site. And here we go. At the time of the filming, we're currently at WordPress 3. version 3.8. So I'm going to start a brand new WordPress install by clicking this button here. And if you've verified your domain name, you should be able to see it here. Or uh, sign up with the domain name you, you, through Bluehost, you should see your domain name here as well. And once you have that, just go through the rest of the process uh, and you should have your WordPress installed very quickly. It's literally just a few clicks away. Now, I'm not going to go through the process because I already have a, an account set up already, but it's just a couple of clicks. What's going to happen next is that Bluehost will give you a your username and also a login password and also the login address that you will need to log in to your WordPress account. So what I'm going to show you right now is just the login panel for my WordPress account. Now this is just one of the few WordPress sites that I have that I test around with, with things and, and so I'm going to show you the, the back end of this. Okay, So you're going to get your own WordPress login account uh, through Bluehost once you finish signing up. So the username, they're going to provide you with this. Now I have my own and the password. And I've also installed the CAPTCHA uh, plugin here, which is free. One of the things I talk about in a lot of my articles compared against the drag and drop builders is there are a lot of plugins that you can use. And CAPTCHA is just one of the plugins that I can, I've deployed on this WordPress site to protect myself from potential hackers. So there are a lot of robots out there that's gonna to try to force their way into your WordPress site. So this little calculation here adds a, a barrier um, against, a, a protect, another layer of protection against these bots. So I'm gonna enter four times eight equals 32, login. So the first thing you're gonna see is a, a dashboard right here. Okay. And on the left-hand side, you can see a lot of different categories. You can create posts, pages, add media, such as pictures and whatnot. You can manage your comments here. You can change the appearance by using different themes on WordPress. Now, there are a lot of free themes available in WordPress, and you choose any one of them, uh, depending on the style that you want. And you can customize a lot of different areas, such as adding widgets in the sidebar, customize your menu, uh, the header, uh, you can add a lot of plugins here, as I mentioned before. Uh, you can control the users that can access your your WordPress site and whatnot. So WordPress is really a very powerful content management system, but it does take a bit of a learning curve and learn how to use it. If you want to customize the layout or the design 
uh, of, the, of your website, you really need to start getting into a bit of code. And that's why a lot of people prefer to use drag and drop builders such as Sp Squarespace, where it's just so much easier to make customizations. I'm just going to quickly add a new post so I can see, you can see what, it, what how it works. So adding a new post is basically like adding a new article. So if you visit our website here, a post can be something like this. Okay, this is a post. This is built on WordPress. Okay, this is a, a new post right here and I just write, write, write and I insert videos. I can insert uh, images and whatnot. Okay, so let's, let's just say testing here. Let's call this testing website builder expert and you can start typing whatever you want here. And you have the standard tools here to, you know, bolt text, you can align them, you can attach things, you can add media, which, you know, you can add pictures and whatnot. You can control on the right hand side, you can save this draft, you can preview it to see what it looks like as a real post. You can change the formatting and whatnot. So that's just the basics of how to get started with the WordPress site. Now, there are much more, much, much more out there to learn about how to configure your WordPress site, but this is just the bare basics of how to get your hosting set up and how to get your first post going. So if you do want to dabble into the world of WordPress and try your hand there because for whatever reasons you think WordPress is going to be better for you than using a drag and drop uh, builder, by all means, follow this video, click on the Bluehost link below this video, the orange button, to start with Bluehost. Remember, you can always cancel your account without any financial risk to you, but we do recommend Bluehost because in our experience, they have really good support and they're rock steady and they're a very reputable host within the hosting industry. So hopefully this video gives you a quick introduction on how to set up your host and get started with the WordPress. Now, if you want more advanced training on how to use WordPress, there are a ton of different resources online uh, in which you can just look through YouTube and whatnot and figure out how to add helpful plugins and configure appearances and set up different pages and posts. Lots of resources out there, and we're gonna include a link or two below to guide you to the right place. So hopefully this video has been helpful. It's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com and this is a short video tutorial on how to get set up your WordPress and get going. Thanks very much.